With this version, it is now possible to create custom profiles for your curves and lines. Let's say we have a curve like this. Press K, switch to lines only, because the custom profiles are only available for uh, line objects. And until now, we have the default circle and cubic profiles are available. Now, as of this version, you can also create your own custom profiles. Let's mute this temporarily. Press U to go to material selection mode and choose profile. And I'm going to draw a shape like this and press K, unmute. When we switch over to custom and go to user perspective, here's the profile we just created. You can do all the usual things uh, you're accustomed to with this. Um, you can roll the line, and change the thickness, um, height, width, etc. Of course, you can also apply taper to it. Let's reduce the thickness a little. And I'm also going to switch to even spacing. It usually works better with the line objects. And uh, this will work just as well with curves mode too. And now we do have a curve with a custom profile and we can repeat over and over again. We can flip the direction as you would expect. We can also switch to a new profile any moment we like. All we have to do is uh, press U to switch the profile material again and uh, let's draw something else. Don't worry about the size or shape. It'll all be adjusted automatically. Press K and of course we also need a line shape so switch to back to carve material and let's draw a line. Press K. Now because we have custom profile selected it automatically switched over. We can turn off taper and increase the line thickness a bit. I'm going to turn off curves too so we can see the profile. And, and uh, you can also control the level of detail using the detail slider. And as you would expect, everything else is still very much active. So these are the new custom profiles for your curves and lines. Enjoy.